Hello everyone, I know it has been so long since I've last posted, I'm so sorry, but I do have a lot of Japan content to share. And my Japan trip just like went by so fast, it felt like so long ago and I'm already hanging to go back. First stop was Osaka. So we flew from Melbourne into Tokyo and then from Tokyo we took the Shinkansen down to Osaka. Throughout the entire train ride, no lie, I was playing Path of the Wind from my neighbor Totoro and almost in tears. I was like looking out the window and looking at how beautiful the scenery was and I just felt like I was in a Ghibli film like oh beautiful anyways moving on from my sad sub story we arrived in Osaka and checked into our hotel it was very close to Dotton body so I guess that's a win I walked into the room and the first thing that caught my eye was the window and I opened it and ta-da nothing the reason why I did this was because I love abroad in Japan and I actually met Chris. Like, how crazy is that? Oh my god. Chris and Connor, when they go to like love hotels, always open the window and find blank. And I just thought it was funny to copy them for some reason. Anyways, I don't know why I did that. But it was time to explore Dotonbori. And when I say explore, I was very much walking about the streets of Dotonbori and heard the beautiful jingle of dun, 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 donkey, donkey, hate. Don Quixote. Man, this place is dangerous. If you like anything, it's just dangerous. And I reckon I spent like an hour there just grabbing stuff and buying it sadly because I can't control myself. Next, we explored more of Dotsonbori and there was like this big street of just shops. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a little alleyway, but it's massive. And the first place I went to was Macca's. It's like essential for me to try the McDonald's in every country and I know a lot of other people do that. We then went to Wego and man, I love Wego. If they had a Wego in Australia, I would be their main like source of like income. I don't know, I would be like their main funding because I just love it so much. I then found this very big mall and they are very popular in Japan. I've seen them a lot. I can't remember the name exactly, but they have like so many levels of just like clothes and toys and everything. They ended up finding the Ghibli store with this very famous snow face sitting at the train. And then I found the Snoopy store. I cannot tell you how excited I was to find the Snoopy store because my mission on this trip was to buy a Snoopy plushie. And I did. I wanted to get the big one, but I think the smaller one was actually a bit cuter. So I grabbed the smaller one. Osaka is very, very pretty at night and man, it was thriving. Like I know Japan is a hot place to go right now, but even like so many little kids at like, like nine or 10 PM, I was like, damn, okay. It's like my, my bedtime, but sure. We went to Ichidan Ramen and I know it's a popular place. I know you're probably saying, oh, basic, but I needed to try it. I wanted to try it. And the line actually wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't too chaotic. But can confirm the ramen is pretty good. And as an introvert, as myself, I liked sitting by myself facing a wall and facing my ramen, which was very, very pleasing to me. After some good ramen, we then went around Dotonbori and we went to a few stores.
and I was on the hunt for some sunny angels and Osaka did not serve with this because there was no sunny angels all out of stock but that's okay I'm willing to find some more and the reason why I'm kind of desperately looking for them is because in Australia they range from like 20 something to like 25 or like $30 in Japan they're like 9 or $10 which is crazy we get so ripped off in Australia but that's okay because I know I'll find some anyways we ended up coming home at around 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. and we were just so tired so I guess it's time to sleep and that's it for this video so I will see you in the next one